Hi, my name is Mark Lambert, Vice President of Products at Parasoft, and welcome to Star West. I'm here with Jason Owen, technology evangelist guru, the big... Literally big, big kahuna. The big kahuna. And we're going to talk about artificial intelligence, how it applies to test automation. But before we jump into that, let's talk about why test automation is important and why testing of the UI is important. UI is most important because that's where the inner... The software interfaces with a human being, yeah. Um, and uh, human beings are very sensitive to failures. Um, but but we can do all the compute in the world that we want to do. But if it doesn't impact humanity, it's all for naught. And then secondly, the reason that automation is so important is that we're moving so fast in the industry today that we're trying to ship. You know, I'm old. We used to ship every two years. Um, now we're shipping continuously these days. Yeah. Uh, and you just can't keep up. And so. Um, uh, so you have to have automated ways to, to do this testing. You can't wait for the test team the test, to do a two, three week test cycle, yeah. uh, the, the business needs to ship. Um, and then lastly with automation is that um, software is not that great in the world. We were talking about some bugs uh, last night, right? Recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I, in my Uber, the Uber driver on the way here, I uh, had to restart the phone, right? To, you know, anyway, we got here eventually. Mm -hmm. but, but software quality is impacting these days our ability to actually interface and get around in the physical world too. Um, and so software quality needs to, to be very seriously addressed and needs to really, really ramp up. And we can't, there's not enough human beings on the planet to provide as much coverage as we need for software today. Yeah, yeah. It's gotta be automated. I think there still is very much a role for manual testing in the, in the testing world. Yeah. Um, where do you think the intersection comes in? When do you move from manual to automated? What's the, where's the ROI? So like really automation should be placed on parts of the product uh, and software system that are very highly repetitive and very, um, Precise yeah. and and, and, uh, and very predictable, mm -hmm. uh, where things are not very predictable, or um, or particularly in UI and assessing user interfaces, um, you need that human element to understand if it's going to be intuitive for another human brain. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you're doing something over and over again, that's where automation lives. Yeah. Um, if you're doing something where you have to sit and think, or you want to go get a coffee and think about it, that's where humans should thrive. So most people use Selenium mm -hmm. for automating yep. the UI. Why do you think that is, and what are the challenges that you see? Why Selenium and why isn't it reliable? The reality is it's, it's software. Yeah. Um, if you use it, it's like any tool, if you use it incorrectly, uh, if you use a hammer to you know, clean your glass, it's not a good idea. Um, and, but there is some argument that some patterns and aspects of Selenium induce, in junior programmers can induce bad behaviors or bad, it enables people to do goofy things that are unreliable. Yeah. Um, but even then, if all that was solved, this whole end-to-end -end UI system is still unstable because the application changes and mm -hmm. it changes more frequently uh, year over year. Right, things are speeding up. Yeah. So like your shopping cart can change to from a, a button to an image yep. with an on-click handler. Um, it may change ID, it may not have an ID. You may use React and it's a randomly generated string yeah. uh, that no human can parse. Um, and those things are changing. But mm -hmm. people usually blame the test automation for that fragility and uh, those breaks. Yeah. But really it's a combination of the entire speed up of the business, um, the, the, the constant change and churn in the applications, um, especially the UI. Uh, and then downstream there's some blame to be said for you know, misapplying Selenium or using very specific breakable selectors and that kind of thing. 